So I'm looking at two state and one state, and I like the one that both parties like. I'm very happy with the one that both parties like. I can live with either one. Uh, I thought for a while the two state looked like it may be the easier of the two. But honestly, if Bibi and if the Palestinians, if Israel and the Palestinians are, are happy, I'm happy with the one they like the best. Let's get more on this story with Ale. Ale, so uh, give us a bit of a sense of how dramatic a shift these words from President Donald Trump are in, in the scheme of what has been 70, 80 year timeline. Well, it, it could be significant because the two state solution has underpinned peace talks since the Oslo agreements, and that was in 1993. So we're talking about more than two decades. Uh, so now he comes and he says, well, it doesn't have to be two states. It could be one state, whatever the, parties two, the two parties like. On the other hand, it could be, because we don't have more details on this, it could be that he's trying to relieve some pressure of Prime Minister Netanyahu in Israel, who's facing pressure from his right-wing coalition partners saying, forget about two states, you know, annex the West Bank, continue building settlements, so maybe this will prolong that, that, that and, and, and would relieve him from some pressure. But Trump did indicate that Israel wouldn't get everything that he wanted. So what is he talking about? Well, I mean, exactly. So, so he, he said Israel wouldn't get all what, what, what Israel wanted and Israel should maybe go easy on the settlements a bit. And, and that's far less than what the Palestinians already also want. And the key thing here is what he didn't say. He said, well, okay, it doesn't have to be two states. It could be one state. But what kind of one state we're talking about? Are we talking about a binational state, which is, doesn't really chime well with what the Israeli prime minister said when he said the Palestinians must recognize Israel as a Jewish state? Are we talking about a binational state where Palestinians don't have voting rights, which does it, which is not going to also make the Palestinians happy? Or are we talking about exact, he didn't, he didn't have an exact vision. So it's all very vague right now. 